far as the MVP race, I think I, um, you know, show what I'm capable of doing. Um, you know, not only individually, but from a team's perspective, us being number one in the West. Um, there was a lot of conversation about, you know, LeBron can do those things in the East, but if he ever came to the West, what can he do? You know, uh, so, you know, I heard all of that. And uh, to be able to, to, to have our team at, at the top of the Western Conference and, and playing the way that we were playing at that time and the way I was playing, um, you know, that's, a, that's definitely a good feeling. It's 2020. Nothing is normal in 2020. Nothing seems as is. And who knows if it'll ever go back to the way it was. Who knows? But you, you make the adjustments and you figure it out along the way. That's what life is all about. You know, life throws you curveballs sometimes, and it's, and it's how you uh, – and it's how you, how you not only approach it, but how you appreciate it as well. So um, nothing is normal, um, but what is the same is that, that, that floor we just came off of, my teammates, um, and, and what we have, uh, and what we're here to, uh, to do, and that's to, to lock in and stay focused and, and go about this ride, um, um, you know, accordingly. So, um, but, but it's 2020, so it's different. It's different from the vision of 2020. It's not that clear. And my mother. Um, it's the first time um, in my life that I went that long without seeing my mom. Um, I hadn't seen my mom since All-Star Weekend, and then I saw her uh, two weeks or three weeks before we had to report to our respective cities. Um, you know, so that was extreme for me. You know, being, a, you know, obviously you guys know my story, being a, a single, coming from a single parent household, being the only child. Um, my mother was 16 when she had me, and for me to be away from her for that long, um, she was like, I'm not, I'm not leaving Akron. I'm not getting on the plane. I'm not, you know, just in due time. My mom kept me, she kept me sane because she said, you know, in due time, you know, um, we'll, we'll, we'll join back again. So, but that's the only thing that, that I really missed. Um, you know, I would never be um, afraid of conflict, um, you know, good conflict, positive conflict that can create change. And, um, you know, what John Lewis was able to do in his tenure and his time, um, not only, you know, in the civil rights uh, movement, um, but also being, you know, in, in Georgia, being in the city of Atlanta and, and the things that he stood for, what he preached, what he, uh, what he stand for every single day. Um, I think it just hit homes, not only in the area that he was in, uh, but for black uh, America all over the world, you know, so, um, you know, obviously it was, a, it was a sad day for all of us um, for hearing that news from such a legend. Um, but when you do the things that you do while you're living, um, your name will last forever and your legacy will live forever. So, um, uh, you know, my, my, my prayers and my thoughts goes out to, you know, his family and, and my thoughts and prayers goes up to the heavens above. And, they, um, you know, they are a part of this family, um, just as big as anybody in his organization history. So uh, we still wear, um, you know, two, four and eight um, and a number two uh, with pride and with remembrance of how great they were. Um, so.